Oh, Bill, this is Power here to review the Tower Zero one? Yeah. DX Cyclone Riser from Kamara Rayo the First Generation. So, yep, this was obviously a premium Bandai item. To prove that, here is the brown box it came in, the shipping box it came in, including its paper that will go back in soon after I'm done filming this portion because I need to keep it in here. <laughs> so, yeah, the Cyclone Riser, as you can obviously tell, is a repaint of the Force Riser and is used by Arto's Himagir father, Kamarari Ichigata, to transform him into such common rider. Um, I was easy to, I guess, translate. Ichigata is type 1. So he's essentially um, Reiwa's first common rider. Um, canonly. So here's the back. Kamarari Ichigata with the premium bandai -ness. And yeah, happy that they're using different pictures of him. Um, I I think this back picture and this front picture is the same, so I might take that comment back. But nah. so here are the contents out of the box after packing it away for like three minutes. <laughs> I thought it was going to fall on me. Um, we're going to take a look at the belt strap because it's literally the same as the Force Riser strap. Just repainted in white, which I actually kind of prefer. Um, just because it makes it stand out a lot. So obviously this is still the same Waz piece. I think we're going to... I don't know if the Zetsumir Riser comes with this piece. But I think the Zetsumerizer is the exact same strap as the Force Riser. There's some squeakiness. And obviously we know how this works. So, right side. Left side. And this is going to be, it should be simple now, but again, I don't really like how you put this on the Force Riser just because it's, the spacing is a bit more tighter. And as you can see, like, the plastic is already, like, shaving off. <laughs> You go in, stay out of here. You're not going to be used yet. And there we go. There's the belt strap for the Cyclone Riser. Obviously, just like other belts, we can add the Progress holders and just not add anything to them because obviously they don't add anything to the belt at all. So, yeah, I'm going to take this off now because the Force Riser review was too long. Okay, so here's the Cyclone Riser, to which, as stated before, this is just a straight-up repaint of the um, Force Riser, um, which is technically our... I'm pretty sure this is our only, only straight-up repaint. However, um, I do like this coloring a bit more. Obviously, it's supposed to be a homage towards the Cyclone or the Typhoon belt from Ichigo, because obviously Ichigo is supposed to be a homage to Ichigo himself. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Uh, so obviously, we get red in the replacement of yellow, and we get so silver because this thing is majority is silver. We get this like um gunmetal gray which I really like and the thing to make this stand out from Force Riser is that there's these little decos around or just on the front of the Force Riser and then obviously um 
it still forces things out. Um, again, I kind of, I don't really understand why they decided to do the Force Riser, but I, I guess I understand that it was just easier. Um, as you can see here, because I did get it like around end of May, right now it's June seventh so it's still sturdy which is good this is how it should be um and obviously the base of it's gray obviously the they're not black screws or silver screws however they're obviously they're still at the same places that they would be at combining it combining it comparing it with the force riser um Obviously, um, there's no decals. This is mostly black. Um, again, this one's flimsy as heck, which is not good. Uh, other than that, they're basically they're primarily the same thing. Um, yeah. So. So next thing we look up, look at, is the Rocking Hopper Zetsumerize key. So this is our first DX Zetsumerize key we're actually gonna be looking at um, because I was I don't have any of the other ones. This is and this is technically the first Rider Zetsumerize key to which now we can actually cover a Zetsumerize key, which they're just. They're similar to ProRes keys, but they just have a black base and still have the translucent um, front plate. <clears throat> Obviously, this one does, is just one cover. Um, so we, here we have the name Rock and Hopper Type Zetsumetsu, so it's still with us a type. Um, there we get the Zetsumetsu logo or symbol. Obviously, we get the Locust, because it's not a grasshopper. And on the back, again, this is plain black, which I like. Which I like. The QR code for Butsubagamba is 107. So they're, they're just literally jumping all, the around, all around. Ha, huh, jump. So there, here it is opened. And here we can see the robotic grasshopper. Locus, and the thing I didn't know about this is that it still has those like, like data specs on the hopper, and it's also in red, which is pretty neat. And again, there's that. Uh, comparing it quickly with Rising Hopper, obviously this was just a quick and easy retool. To open it, and obviously, um, there's no grasshopper on a Zetsumerize key. So let's get through the sounds. Cannon Rider, Rocking Hopper's ability. So, despite being a Zetsumer Zetsumerize key, it's actually still like a progress key in some way and then after this we got i think 10 quotes And 
Okay, I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if this is gonna come off camera, but you can hear this like little like hum whenever he talks. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and if you couldn't tell, the speaker on this toy is like like really clear, which I really like. Captain Ryder, rocking hoppers ability. So, yeah, there was that. And then now I'm just gonna show this. You hold this button here. It already cuts to the henshin because of something. So I really like how like memorial esque this thing is already. So let's just get on with this. Um, Cyclone Riser. I forgot to mention that these two already requires two AAA batteries and switching it on. Cyclone Still requires, or it still has the right LED like the Force Riser. But the thing I forgot to mention with the Force Riser is that. This and the forest riser do not have like a lens to cover the red LED, which is kind of bothersome. Because I think that's the reason why some LEDs or some of the progress keys just don't emit as well. Because like, you know, like, I don't know, this is the only example I have. Um, but like, you know, like toys like the whole -Oh blade. See? Like, it still has that plastic lens in front of the red LED. So, like... I just... I just don't understand why they didn't do that at all. Um, but anyways, um... So the Cyclone Riser itself, when you open and close it up... And again, just for stability. Okay, maybe I'm losing some. <laughs> okay, that's concerning. Anyways, for the to start the transformation, we obviously activate the set to memorize key. And insert it like so, which um obviously for to try to at least defend my stance on this is way more sturdier than the force riser. It's like you have to like give it a little push to like actually push it in fully. So then there's the transformation, or there's the standby for the second riser. And just like most memorial stuff, if you press the button here, it will say that and open it up to transform. There's the transformation for Kamar Ichigata. Um, the, I, the LED is alright, I will say that. But I think it's definitely a lot better because, you know, back here, it's not black, so it's just way more easier to see and such. And, you know, I just like the look of this overall. And actually, after you transform, you get two more bolts. So, just that. And obviously, just like the Forge Riser, we get two additional attacks. And then there's the standby. So, there we get Rock and Spark. get rocking the end <laughs> so then obviously that's the transformation sound and after pulling this one out you get you cycle back to the last three quotes of this one So, yeah. 
and I just realized this is the progress keys. But these lines here actually match up with the speaker holes. So I'm really dumb. <laughs> so obviously um, you can use other progress keys with this. So we, we use Ryzen Hopper. However, the issue is that these don't work really well with this because obviously these are timed for the Forest Riser and not this. Uh, because the Cyclone Riser starts a, a second, a bit like, I think a second later than the Forest Riser because of that like sound before. So that's kind of the upsetting part. The only way to get around this is if you like authorized it which you simply just try to turn around and try to get it back there because then this will technically be in the settings of the shot riser So there's still like a bit of a delay, but it's at least better, in my opinion. But, yeah. So we're going to start with the Forest Riser, just to get over, just show how this is compatible with it. Because it's obviously going to act the same, so when we take it out, it's just going to be all the same and such. So obviously, again, yeah, this one, it, it still does work, but then there's obviously that delay after the force rise because of that sound in the cyclone riser. Just note you can still access everything. It's just that, you know, I'm just gonna treat it like normal. So, Ozzy01 driver, it's next. Now, the cool thing is that you can still hold on the button. And not work. So there's the amazing transformation of Rock and Hopper, and I, I just really like that. Again, it's not a, if you didn't get it already, this is not a typical Zetsamarize key. Uh, obviously, because it's essentially a hybrid. Um, I really like the auto, like the ending phrase, although I don't like the fact it still says Type 1. I really wish that was exclusive to the risers, but... Uh. And obviously that's the symbol for the Zetsuma Rise keys. And obviously using Gatling, which decided to fall out earlier. This point, I feel like it's going to fall off. Huh. Uh, and 
just note that this will not say his three phrases. That's only in the four cyclone risers or Zetamin riser, such. I think this makes sense. Uh, this one you have to hold it. Obviously, you have to hold it before. Because then when it's authorized, you can't press it. Canonism? So I figured out during um rewatching my biting shark footage, I actually did do this on one take. So when we do the Legend Rider stuff, uh we will definitely get back on track with that. I need to stop doing this. <laughs> Throw it at the core. So, yep, we finally defeated another Shin Ichigo. That set will be getting covered within four weeks from now. <laughs> Again, my scheduling is just poor. Anyways, that's the review of the Cyclone Riser. To which, um, I do think this is a pretty neat set overall. Um... Obviously, I kind of do prefer this over the Force Riser, though I do like... I, I like the Force Riser too, but I don't know, like, they're still both my weakest, but then if I... I'll put the Cyclone Riser just up a bit more because Ichigata is a cooler suit than, like, anything that is not Jin in the Force Risers. So, because <laughs> I'm just not really a big fan of those suits. Again, Jin is the only exception. Uh, so, I think that's neat. Again, the quotes from Sorano, I think that's his name, are really neat in there. And it really feels like a memorial version, like an idea of the memorial version. Although, I know those ones are going to be more, like, those are going to be more contained. And, like, there's probably going to be, like, more phrases you can hold and such. Um, but, again, um... It's just also neat to have a Zetsamurai's key, although obviously it's not the ter stereo stereotypical one. It's not the typical one, obviously, because this one's like, again, it's a weird, like, hybrid. It's a Zetsamurai's key, but it functions like a Progrise key, so there's that. But I guess, like, if you're a fan of Ichigata, then go ahead and get this. Although, like, sadly, for what I'm pretty sure about, 
we're probably not gonna see Ichigata and anything else. <laughs> so like, essentially, this is only canon to like one movie, and I feel like that's just kind of the disappointment of Ichigata as a whole. It would be cool to see him in the show, but um, I don't know. Like, obviously, because of what's going on, they probably have to rewrite the show significantly, just like X Aid, but not in that bad way uh, so I would like to have seen Ichigata but um you know like the movie is fine and such so that's basically it for this video um if you want to see literally all progress keys up to this video then wait for the demo in like another three weeks <laughs> this is about right and I'll leave you people bye